What is up, Delicious Faithful? Bruce Moore here with my end of the year 2022 picks. 2022 goes down as one of the most fucked up, emotionally draining years I have ever lived through. But thankfully, it was also one of the best years in recent memory for heavy music. Perhaps the events of this past year have heavily influenced the records that have resonated with me. But I do feel music is cathartic. And these are the albums that I credit for getting me through the absolute madness that was 2022. Norma Jean, Death Rattle Sing For Me. This is a band that I feel constantly releases music that is out of the box, clever, and inventive. As with most of their previous releases, the song titles are cryptic and humorous, but it is not the titles I am here to talk about. The cool acoustic intro of A Killing Word is deceiving, but doesn't last long as it explodes and eventually gives way to a blisteringly heavy, punishing track in pure Norma Jean fashion. Penny Margs, another solid track, meanders along, laced with clean vocals, gradually building to a chaotic, classic Norma Jean sound. Heartache closes out the record with an eight-minute offering that I feel is the band at the top of their game, combining tons of melody, rage, and unpredictability. Moving on, I've always had a soft spot for Crowbar. The Crowbar Zero and Below. In true Crowbar fashion, Zero and Below immediately caves your head in with bludgeoning riffs and an overwhelming sense of doom and gloom. The fear that binds chemical gods and her evil is sacred all pummel your senses with massive riffs while providing enough energy to keep the pits a flurry of activity. This record has all the elements I look for in a record, especially after a shitty year like 2022. It is heavy, melancholic at times, and delightfully somber. Whitechapel Kin. Kin hit heavy for me this year. Not only is it heavy as fuck in true deathcore style, but there are many moments of clean vocals from Phil Bozeman that are just as powerful. As a longtime fan, but not someone who knows Bozeman personally, it feels to me that he is gradually emerging from the horrific events of his past after delving into the depths of madness in titles like Blood Soaked Symphony. Psychroptic, Divine Counsel. I'm not usually a massive fan of tech death, but for some reason, these Tasmanian meddlers have always struck a chord with me. The chaotic whirlwind of rapid picking, bending strings, and an unbelievable, almost inhumanely fast yet precise drum work propels this record right neck pace. Jason Pepiot's usual screams and barks are brutal and emotional and really hit to the core. And now my top two. Sylvain Nova. This is not an album I would have ever thought would make my year-end list, yet alone a record that I connected with on so many different levels. It is an emotional journey of ethereal beauty, with emotional songs interspersed with hauntingly heartbreaking guttural black metal screams that cut to the core. Each successive listen, and there have been a lot this year, unearths new sounds, more layers, and even more earworms that weren't there on earlier listens. When listened to the way it was sequenced, Nova is a powerful emotional journey that really stirs the soul, and I feel was the perfect soundtrack for escaping or possibly working through the fucked up year that was 2022. And now for the grand finale. Machine Head of Kingdom and Crown. Those of you that know me know that I am a massive machine head. And so this next one will come as no surprise. I know that many reviewers and listeners have panned and dismissed the band over the last few releases, but I am not one of them. As a matter of fact, I am the opposite. Machine Head, at least to me, have consistently cranked out solid headbanging records with lyrics and themes that not only can I identify with, but that actually move and sink into the core of my very being. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous, but I feel it is really honest. This year's release of Kingdom and Crown is no exception. It is classic, ferocious, and crushing, and without a doubt, a machine head record. Choke on the Ashes of Your Hate has tons of fury and aggression centered around a massive riff. Other songs that really struck a chord with me are Rotten, Kill Thy Enemy, and Unhallowed. I honestly can't say enough about this record. It is that good, and it has helped me through a lot. Those are my top picks for 2022. Like I said at the beginning, I think this has been one of the best years for metal. All across the board, all genres, 
everyone came out of the box after all this lockdown bullshit with some of the best stuff they've ever done. So it was hard to determine what my favorites were. I strictly went by what I played the most and what struck the and what resonated with me the most. So there you are. Hope you dig it. Mine are quite different than Dark Masix and Joel's. Um, thank you for listening through the year. We appreciate your time, and I'd love to hear what yours are, so if you want to drop them in the links below, that'd be great. Be well. Let's kick ass in 2023.